hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brown channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to use the raster calculator to work on this land use land cover data now from this land use land cover data we can see different classes right good classes from one up to 11 right good and each of these classes represent what um different land use from the um sentinel 2 10 meter land use land cover data we have here this is the class information where one represents water two represents three and all of that so what we want to use the um raster calculator tool to do on today's tutorial is that we are going to use it to extract some of the um land use land cover data right good so we have a note um these are some of the basic functions the note will be provided um for download right good so now the using land use land cover you can use for maybe reclassification maybe overlay analysis however our concern today is for the classes extraction so we are going to identify the classes we are going to extract build expressions and then we are going to extract those classes we are using qgis for the um, for the whole exercise so we have some custom um, expressions that can be run on QGIS right good so now let's come back to our QGIS and then let's um, assess the what the raster calculator so you come up to raster and then you open it up so um, we have what the raster band result layer operators and then where we can write our expression so the first thing is that let us see if we can extract built up areas and now by looking at it we can see that built up area is red and then from the um, class definition we have here we can see that built area is seven which represents red right good built area is seven which represents red which represents the same red and seven right good so we want to extract that so now coming back to our note we have an expression here so i can just do well to copy this expression and then paste it somewhere here good now the expression is valid now um there is a description or an explanation of how the expression works so the expression extracts what the classes the class with the value of seven from the raster named what whatever name you have on your maybe that you would have saved your land use land cover data so we have it as what arrive with that river state right good now it now assigns a value of one to the raster with pixel value of seven this expression creates a binary raster that's a raster of zeros and ones where pixels with a value of seven are assigned a value of one which means all of the pixels that um, are having a value of seven which represents the built area will now be assigned a value of one and all other pixels which means the water body the vegetation maybe the bare land and all you would have gotten in your um, land use land cover classification they will all be assigned a value of zero that's what this expression means right good so we have them um, pick them out one after the other to what them um, explain them right good so now let's come back to um, QGIS so the expression is valid that's one thing to confirm that you can actually work with it so instead of using them um, on the fly raster let's um, create a file good so we have um, navigated to the folder of our choice um, raster calculator output then let's call this um, build area good so we have this as build area then we save right good so the crs which is very important is in projected so we leave it at that then we leave the spatial extent the resolution as default as they are and then we click on ok good we have an output and as it has been stated it's a binary output which is we have just one and zero or zero and one we have one represents what what we need and zero represents every other thing so what we need is what the built up area but we can change the symbology so we double click we come up to symbology then um, under the render type we select single band pseudo color so remember we just have two classes so we can do well to change this to equal interval reduce our classes from five to two then we can now change the color so for the zeros which we don't need let's say let's give them um, a color green right good 
and then for one which represents our built up area let's give them the default color red right good so these two classes or these two classes which um, we now have here which represents the built up area in um color um in class value one and every other in class value zero is what the extracted right good you can see that it has been extracted so for validation you can just try to toggle it off and on you can see that at every point where you have this um, class value 7 which represents built area you can see from the new extracted raster it's very very red right you can see the red coloration right good so this is how you can use the raster calculator to extract um, specific land use from your land use land cover data right good now we can still go further we have extracted just one let's say we want to extract more than one right good by combining multiple classes from the class definition we have here we have extracted a built area let's say we also need water body so we are going to look at one and then um, seven right good so that's what you can see here so we have um, a longer expression just copy it we have a longer expression that what um creates a binary raster where the classes seven and eight are represented by one remember that these two classes are now joined to what to be represented as what a class one as we go further we are going to separate water body from built up area but we just want to add them as one now right good so this is the first expression so every other thing as we have explained earlier remains the same rrv the equal to seven the parentheses and then the multiplying by one right good so as you read through you can have a better um, explanation of what each of those um, elements in the expression mean right good so let's come back it has been copied so we still come up to our raster calculator then we paste the expression we have there right good so the expression is still valid so remember we are trying to copy what we are trying to extract rather we are trying to extract um, class 7 and then class 1 not 8 class 1 so we specify the output layer so we have a um, build area and water right then we click on ok we have another output now this output still um, returns zeros and ones as usual however the one this time around has more than one class right good it has the built up area and then water body right good so now let's still work on the symbology we still take this to single band pseudo color we make this equal interval and then we reduce the classes from five to to three right good we are going to change one to let's still call it red although it has a um, red and blue in it which is built up on water body but let's just call it red and then let's change the zero to let's say green right good no let's say blue now because we already have them um, green and blue earlier we already have green and red earlier right good so let's have um okay let me reduce this to two good so we have what let's have um two classes and we have um red and blue right good so the red represents the built up area and the water body then the blue represents every other class right good so apply an okay or just click on okay good now let's compare remember that we have the composite land use land cover data which is this we have this which have extracted only the built up area right good and then if we try to maybe toggle it with um, our composite we can rightly see that we have what the built up area now let's put this out and then let's bring our built up and water body you now see that we now have more information compared to just what the built up so let's compare the both you see we have more information you can see we have what 
more information so this outline which um, represents the water body have now been included which we have seen to be what the water body so if we take this out then compare it to what we have in the composite you can see that this part which is bluish in the composite land use land cover is now also reddish because we have combined this we have combined this our last extraction to contain built up area and water body now to further expand this we are now going to have what two classes that now represents the built up area and the water body separately not the water body and the built up area in one class so that will be the last part of today's tutorial so we still come up to the raster calculator then we have an expression already so what we are going to do now is that we are going to modify this expression we're going to delete some of these um, double parentheses yeah the expressions will be invalid for some time so we are now saying class 7 should be represented by what by 1 and then class 8 or class 1 which is um, the the water body should be represented by what two right good so we are trying to create two classes from the number of land land cover classes we have that extracts built up area and water body and stores them in those two classes right good so we have um, assigned one and two to represent what those classes right good so we click on output so we have a um, built up area um, built up area and water body this still represents that so let's just say two right good so we click on save then every other information is okay because the expression is valid so we click on okay good so we have an output we are going to open up this particular layer to see the symbology still using single band pseudo color we have a calling interval then we are going to make this three so we have the zero the one and the two the zero represents every other class that is not built up and that is not water and then the one represents what the water so let's make it the conventional or maybe the default blue whatever the case is then let's make the two which is the built up area to be so sorry one is supposed to be the built up area which is the red right and then two is supposed to be the water body which is the blue right good so we are going to validate our results by comparing them to or comparing yeah, comparing them to comparing it to the composite so we have the um the value zero to be a very different color so let's just make it green so that we don't have some challenges but we know that green is out of it because it represents every other color right good so we click on ok now we have something what we have please just ignore the blue just ignore the green what we have compared to the composite let's put every other thing out if we put this out we can see that the red still overlays red and then the blue okay we use the different shade of blue the blue still overlaid blue which represents what the built up area and the water body um, represented or extracted differently from what the composite land use land cover data we have unlike the penultimate one that we add the both of them together right good so we have the built up area and the water body together so they were all having what um, color red however we have now separated them we are color red represents the built up area and then blue represents the water body so this is quite an exhaustive one we open we have provided quite a detailed um, solution to this particular gis or remote sensing problem on how to use your raster calculator to um, extract classes from your land use land cover data we are going to provide yes we are going to leave a link for you to assess this particular material that we have used for today's um, illustration right good so 
thanks for coming to class we are going to see you on the next tutorial and sure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye